Hi, I'm Tom McCurdy with Airs in USA. Today we're going to talk about choosing the right blower technology for wastewater treatment applications. The biggest reason for choosing the most appropriate technology is because, especially in an aeration system, that's the largest consumer of electricity in a wastewater treatment plant, probably accounting for 50 to 60 percent of the plant's operating cost. So proper choosing of the right technology becomes very important. The two technologies I'm going to focus on today are the traditional ones, and I'm going to talk about the evolution of them to the more modern versions. One is the positive displacement blower technology, and the second is the multi-stage centrifugal technology. Let's talk about PD blower technologies first. PD blowers have been the workhorse of many wastewater treatment plants because they are so simple to operate. The flow changes by varying the speed with the VFD, and it has a very large turndown. And by turndown, I mean the ability of a blower to go from design point to its minimum. And typically, you get about a four to one turndown. So if a blower has a thousand CFM rating, you can turn it down typically to about 250 CFM, which is very important because the, the plant's needs will vary. And because it's positive displacement, it will easily adapt to changes in pressure and temperature. And the, the biggest thing is probably that it was the lowest cost. The limitations on PD blowers, even though you do have that wide turndown, is that it's le much less efficient at those lower flows. And as the pressures get higher and higher, the efficiency starts to dwindle as well. The second positive displacement technology we're going to discuss are screw compressors. Screw compressors have been around since the 1940s, but you won't see them typically in a uh, municipal wastewater treatment plant, primarily because they're built for a higher pressure, typically 20 to 30 PSI, whereas in wastewater plants you'll see maybe 7 to 12 PSI around that area. But there are many similarities with the blower technology in that it is also positive displacement and it is controlled the same way in terms of a VFD and you'll get the same type of turndown, typically a 4 to 1. But the advantage for a screw compressor is that it is more efficient by comparison than a standard PD blower. The big difference between a screw compressor and a PD blower is that a screw compressor actually compresses the air inside the casing of the machine itself. And this is a much more efficient process than the blower technology which just conveys the air. The animation that you see right here will show it. Now the limitations on screw compressors are that they get more efficient as the pressure goes up and at lower pressures, which is typical of wastewater treatment plants, they get less efficient. So what do you do? The way that we adapt the screw compressor technology to wastewater use, i.e. the lower pressure applications, is to have two approaches. One is a twisted three-lobe technology that is primarily for the three to seven PSI range, and the true screw compressor is for seven to 15 PSI, which is probably more typical of what you would see uh, in an aeration system. 